hey guys this is going to be a very very short brief video because i just feel like i had to talk about it it had been some good time since i watched any movie or drama from the philippines that's not on tv so i watched this on netflix it was called when you see me looking to the left down i'm i'm looking at my notes because I didn't cram this, okay. I didn't cram this. I just uh, just need to remind myself. Love is colorblind. Um, it's a Filipino thing uh, by ABS CBN and the Star Cinema. Uh, it was distributed by Star Cinema, but it, I found it on Netflix. You can go watch it right now. It's not a series. It's a movie, and um, I just wanted to come and share with you the fact that I really, really, really enjoy this. Um, the first thing that that I liked about it is the fa fa familiarity with it because I I recognized two two of the actors immediately of an actress and an actor Ella Valdez I got to first watch Ella Valdez in Panga Kosayo the promise for two thousand two thousand one two thousand that one that came out in two thousand with Angela and Ina uh, Ella she was really pretty she's still a pretty woman I recognized that and then I recognized another guy um. Ariel Rivera. I'm sorry, I didn't know his name, but his face was very, very familiar to me. I just didn't know his real name, like I knew Ella Valdez's name. So I also recognized Ariel uh, Ariel Rivera, her husband in the movie. Um, and then here we have two two other people, Adoni and and Bill, where the the names like the main cast, the couple that's meant to be that is not really being together because of this and this and that and that, um, re having excuses why they can't be together, mainly because of Donnie. But I I also got to find out that actually that's like a young cast because he's twenty four, he's my age mate, and she's like nineteen. What was that in nineteen? I was at campus. Uh, okay, let me even go there. So. Um, it's it's actually a very very simple story, but it really pulled on my heartstrings. It made it's not like complaint that you have to think a lot. It was just a minor thing. It was just a simple story, but I really felt it like I was deeply going. Like it just is it because it may be relatable? You know, some things are like ah, oh, this is just fantasy and stuff. But it was kind of relatable because a lot of people felt to be together because of such excuses, and they would have been together if they had like you know overseeing such stuff and you find that people have stupid reasons why they can't be with others yet they actually both have mutual feelings mutual understandings and all. it's just that everything doesn't need to be complicated for it to be interesting like you have to think of a very very complicated script for it to be interesting no sometimes it can get boring if it's so complicated and people just slip off because it's thinking too much i don't want to be in another history class you know even sometimes history is interesting like what economics i don't even know why economics used to bore me physics used to bore me so California love, I've been riding through the city In the Cadillac, getting faded off the Remy Had a ugly low pass, nowadays sitting pretty I know I made mistakes, I just so